Thank you so much, Dr. Majumdar, for joining us today. You've been part of the Lancet Citizens Commission on reimagining India's health system. Could you explain to us what is reimagining India's health system with a view to achieving universal health coverage involved? It is about right to health care. It is about access to health care. And above all, it is about health equity. Access and affordability are the two pillars of ensuring health equity and um, right to health care. And this is what we're trying to reimagining, saying, how will this work? How do we make sure that every Indian, no matter what their economic start, strata is, will have access to basic quality health care? Starting with, of course, primary health care. Uh, and of course, then ensuring that if they need secondary and tertiary and quaternary health care, it's made available. For a country as large as India, obviously, this is a monumental challenge because we have a huge population with a large part of it, uh, which is poor. So how do we make this work is really the challenge. And what we are looking at is, what is it that we have? What are the big gaps? And how can technology bridge many of these gaps? So there are many, many pillars that we're looking at. One is, of course, the human resource requirements to deliver health equity. The second one is about the financial um, you know, outlay that we need to address health equity. The third is how do we use digital technologies and technology in general to deliver health equity? And the fourth is about what is the governance model required to really ensure that everything is connected and everything works. Dr. Majumdar, how important is our collective participation towards building a healthy India? I have personally experienced the power of uh, providing affordable access to life-saving and essential medicines. Let me start with my fa favorite example of insulin. I remember when we embarked on this journey of developing recombinant human insulin, uh, India was at the epicenter of diabetes. It was importing all its insulin and 90% of that imported insulin used to be animal insulin because we just couldn't afford recombinant human insulin. Only affluent paying patients could afford recombinant human insulin. And that is what drove me to develop our own indigenous recombinant human insulin, which we launched in 2004. And um, that was a very pivotal moment for uh, diabetes treatment because we were able to disrupt insulin pricing by bringing down the cost of recombinant human insulin to a tenth of what it was being sold at. And it also forced the multinational companies who were you know, pricing insulins beyond the reach of most patients in India to come to this level. Today, we do not import any animal insulins. Everybody can afford uh, recombinant human insulin thanks to our efforts. And today we have the cheapest recombinant human insulin in the world. So I think that's the power of innovation. That's the power of disruption. And that's the power of focusing on affordable, uh, you know, access. Dr. Majumdar, what role can Big Pharma play in helping achieve health for all? Also, what our campaign's focus this year is Lakshya Sampurna Swastika. I think the pharmaceutical industry in India is doing its bit in a very, very commendable manner. I think every medicine that is required by a patient in any disease segment is the most affordable medicine in the world. India is uh, the leader when it comes to generics. We as a company are trying to lead in biosimilars globally. And I think it is these kind of medicines that are bringing down the cost of these very, very important uh, treatments. So I don't think uh, I can think of a better sector than the India's pharmaceutical industry that is not only helping its own country and its own citizens, but it is making a huge difference uh, to global healthcare. Thank you so much, Dr. Majumdar, for joining us and always being a part of our campaign since the last nine years.